this is our 2018 Tesla Model 3. Unlike the Model Y, the Model X, and the upcoming Cybertruck, there was no tow hitch option from purchase. So because Tesla did not have a stock option for a towing uh, hitch, we turned to eTrailer.com and we got their Stealth Eco Hitch option, which we'll get into in just a moment, as well as their wiring kit accessory for the Tesla Model 3. If you go into their site, they have a lot of great information, no matter what your maker model, if you're looking for a hitch or um, various towing accessories, they've got you covered. Getting down to it, this is a full two inch receptacle for a, any, um, any towing. <laughs> <laughs> any <laughs> towing accessory. If you um, are looking to install this yourself, it's actually not that difficult. There's a how-to video from eTrailer that shows the full install step-by-step. -step. Feel free to pause it and start it as you're working. It makes it really easy. We'll go ahead and link to that video down below. And um, some of the things you might need is some razors because you have to get fully underneath of the car to get some of the um, pieces off so that you can get under there to actually install the hitch. But uh, so some razors, some basic wrenches and tools, wire cutters and strippers, uh, some electrical tape. And that was about it. it. It took us from start to finish about two hours to get that all done. I wish we had some actual footage of that install, but we did that uh, really early on it, it, when we got the car because we just knew that was something we wanted to do. Well before we were towing a trailer with it, we were using this uh, to carry a cargo rack, which was actually really convenient. We used that to carry around furniture, gas cans, or anything else that we didn't want inside of the car. Now this is rated for 500 pounds of hitch weight as well as a 2,000 pound gross vehicle tow rating. So that gives us a little bit of flexibility but not as much as you might see in uh, other Teslas like the Model Y or the Model X. So here's underneath of the car where we actually had to cut a oval piece out of this plastic uh, covering that just is basically to keep dust and debris from getting up in these crevices. But we just used a hole saw. We just used a hole saw and again in the e-trailer video they show you how to do this and, and how to measure so that it fits in the right spot. The idea is that you can then get up in here and use a wrench to detach this bolt and then the entire hitch receptacle just drops out and then no one would even know it was there. We use it all the time so I've always left this up and in. And then to, we used a four inch razor um, attachment here. And I, because the car is so low, we use it pointed up. And that way we get a little bit of extra um, clearance, which you can see we don't always make. So we've had a few little <laughs> bumps and grinds along the way. And then lastly, because the uh, only complaint that I've had with the trailer um, with this hitch set up is that there aren't any welded on um, safety pins or safety clips for these chains. So our workaround for now has been using a longer bolt with a hole drilled in it for the safety pin. So then uh, normally this bolt would be much shorter just to hold this on. Now it's a little bit longer which allows us room to uh, attach these chains to either side of the hitch and it actually keeps those on really well. So, just like that. Ta da! The wiring for The wiring kit that we got from eTrailer came with a four pin hookup and after removing all of the, the bumper, uh, the head, or the tail lights, you're able to attach this. It comes with the kit to test the wires for whether it's the left turn, right turn, brake, 
and reverse and then you get a um, splice on basically with these uh, the components that they have that you can splice onto those wires that gives the trailer wiring its signals uh, appropriately we also added this extra ground wire because the the ground connection um, wasn't wasn't uh, always working from this so we, this is a stronger uh, a heavier gauge wire and it's just bolted directly to the body of the car then in order to work with our trailers seven pin connection we just went to Lowe's and got this adapter it's a four pin to seven pin adapter and Just connects like that we leave it tucked away in the trunk when we're not using it and then when it's in use it just kind of hangs out like this and then the trunk closes on it keeps it in place from dragging and that's everything that we've needed the only tricky part about the wiring harness is that it does need 12 volt supply so there's one wire that you have to take from the back here underneath of the car all the way to the front up into the trunk that then connects to the battery. That's how you get a hitch on a Tesla Model 3. <laughs> Thanks again for watching. I hope you learned something. If you have any questions or comments about our experiences with it, please let us know in the comments down below. We'll get back to you as soon as we can. And as always, I guess we'll see you next time.